So if we take our, our vessel and its engine, and we slowly sea trial each speed in a steady state fashion, we can obtain the engine power and the speed at each RPM. This is kind of a free running case where the vessel's speed is unrestricted by towing or pushing. So if we overlay the propeller power curve over our engine's maximum power curve, this blue line being the propeller curve and the purple line being our engine maximum power curve limit, if we overlay these two curves, we get a graph like this. I've labeled some of the speed points here so we can see four knots, eight knots, 12 knots, all the way up to 30, 31, 32 knots here. This is a, a real ship. It's a twin screw diesel powered ship and it's about 65 long tons, just in case you were wondering how we're consuming 2100 horsepower. From this chart, you can actually infer the engine load at each RPM. At the engine's RPM limit, represented by the vertical governor line on the right, we can see the vessel's making 31 knots and it's using most of the available engine power. So the engine load here is about 97, 98%. Now, we need to note that this curve represents a minimum power requirement. Again, we were trialing each speed at a steady state. So the required power will only increase from this curve and for many reasons. So first, let's just think about the life of the boat. As the propeller gets dirty, the hull gets rougher, as the boat inevitably gets heavier, this minimum curve increases. It's never going to really reduce itself. It's only going to get worse. Things are going to get dirtier, heavier, and rougher. So here, what I've done is I've increased the thrust requirements by 5%. And now we can see that speed is beginning to drop. We were previously making 31 knots. We add 5% to our required power. And now we're getting slightly below 30 knots, so a little bit over 29 knots. And we're actually overloaded. So we're using, we're not able to quite make our rated RPM here. So we're slightly overloaded, unable to make rated RPM, just with a slight increase in our thrust requirement. 